Hi everyone and welcome to another short academy video about the inspect mode. With inspect mode you can pull all essential design specs from design artboards, simplifying the design to development handover. Further, the inspect mode also checks whether or not the fonts and color used in your designs are compatible with the colors and fonts defined in your brand guidelines. To start using the inspect mode you need to upload sketch artboards to Frontify. The easiest way to do so is by using the Frontify plugin for Sketch. As you can see, I've already created some artboards which are ready to be pushed to Frontify. To push these artboards to Frontify, I simply open the Frontify plugin here. And then I can upload them to Frontify by clicking on this button. To speed things up, I've already done so. What I'm going to do now is open the respective artboard in Frontify right from within Sketch, just by clicking on the icon. And as you can see, we've landed in the workspace. To switch to the inspect mode, you find a new button in the power bar to your left. So click on the inspect and the inspect mode is activated. Um, on the left hand side, now you can see the layers panel. Um, with all the layers shown just as uh, they were created in Sketch. In the middle part, uh, you have uh, the artboard, and on the right side, you have the information panel with two tabs again with the artboard tab and the assets tab. In the artboard tab, you can find general information about the artboard, such as its size and its background color and you see the auditing functionality. Um, auditing compares the colors and fonts used in your artboards with the ones defined in your guidelines and tells you if there's a mismatch, just as you can see here. In the Assets tab, you'll find all assets which were made exportable in the sketch file itself. Download them here and easily embed them to the development process if needed. Apart from inspecting the whole artboard, you can also inspect single layers. Choose your preferred layer either by selecting it from the layer panel to your left or by directly clicking into the artboard. Once a layer is chosen, you can see measurements appearing on your right hand side. Once a layer is chosen, you can see measurements appearing. By hovering through the artboard, you can measure layers against each other. Depending on which type of layer you choose, different design specifications will appear in the information panel to your right. If you, for example, choose a text layer, you find information on the size and positioning of this layer, um, you find typography information, you have CSS code which can be copied and incorporated into your development process and you also find the respective text snippet which can easily be copied here as well. If you choose or select an image layer, um, you again have information on the size and positioning of this image layer, but you have uh, information on the opacity and code and what is new here is that you have the possibility to directly export the assets you need and in, to embed it later into your development process. Um, the third um, type of layer you can choose from is uh, our shape layers. Here again you find some information on size, positioning, opacity the, and then also the background color of this um, um, shape as well as the border color and code again. And that's already it. Start using the inspect mode and simplify design to development handovers.